everybody, Allie here with ABC Bead Supply and I'm here today with a tutorial for you on how to make some lanyards. Time to start thinking about back to school. So today we have four uh, teacher educator lanyards um, to share with you. Four designs, also four DIY project kits. We have a blog post live on our website over at abcbeadsupply.com that has photos of each of these lanyards along with clickable supply lists for the materials needed to duplicate the designs that way. We also have the DIY project kits that come with everything you need to make one of the item. Um, so that is an option as well, both, both options available. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to make one. They're all gonna be assembled the exact same way. They're just using different beads. So I'm just gonna demo one today. Uh, we're using silver premium uh, lobster uh, keychains. These work great as the lanyard base. Uh, you've got a key ring holder and then you've got a clip so you can keep a key along with the badge um, on, on that as well. Uh, it gives you a little bit of, uh, the teachers seem to need multiple um, <clears throat> options for, for um, clipping things. Uh, we also are gonna be using 20 millimeter acrylic beads, silicone focal beads, uh, 1.5 millimeter satin cord and some breakaway clasps. So those are gonna be the supplies used on everything. We're just gonna be varying in the 20 millimeter and the silicone beads that we're using. We also have these plastic ID badge holders. There's both horizontal and vertical orientation available. These are great. Um, we don't sell them with the DIY project kits because you're gonna need to choose which orientation you want or if you want one at all, um, but the way that these work is you just pop out the center, there's a little piece of plastic, and then these will clip right on the lobster claw portion for the ID badge so that they don't have to poke a hole or make a hole or anything through their ID badge. Um, so that's another great option uh, that you can ha use as an add-on purchase. Uh, these are available on the website as well. The other thing that's really nice about these is if you are gifting a lanyard to a teacher at the beginning of the school year, um, these hold gift cards perfectly. So that makes a really sweet gift presentation. You can gift a lanyard with a gift card right um, in, in it as part of the gift card holder. It's a usable, wearable gift card holder. It's really a fun, fun project idea. Um, I know my daughter is going to be making some of these uh, before we head back to school. So, um, all right, let's show you how to make one. Let's do this um, ABC chalkboard one. Don't know why, just picking one. I guess that must be my favorite. <laughs> I like them all, but um, so what I really love about this one is this black pearly luster bead. I absolutely love it with chalkboard. It's like, um, it looks like a chalkboard that has been um, erased on. It just really reminds me of that. So like, that's just my favorite 20 millimeter acrylic bead to use with any um, kind of back to school chalkboard um, images for that reason. Okay, so you're gonna take all of the materials from the DIY project kit. Um, we give, 48 inches of satin cord with these kits. That's a good starting length. Some teachers, some recipients are gonna want them shorter. It's pretty easy to shorten up the, um, the, here, I'll show you. So once you have your lanyard made, you can present it this way, but if they want it shorter, all they have to do is push the cord through and tie a knot closer to that clasp just double knot it and just make a new knot. So it's pretty easy to shorten them. It's very difficult to lengthen them. You would need a whole other piece of cord. So I err on the side of caution of going a little longer on these and then they can always be shortened up um, if needed. So you're gonna fold it in half and you're gonna take that folded uh, portion and go right through the swivel portion of the lobster clasp and then just grab the tails of that satin cord through just like that. And then when I am beading acrylic beads on satin cord, I take a lighter and singe the ends of them uh, to make a nice point to turn the tails into one. We, I'll show you how to use a loop tuner in a minute on the silicone, but uh, the loop turner doesn't work on the acrylic beads. So uh, a little bit of, um, a little bit of heat on that, and it'll give you a nice point for threading your acrylic beads. Uh, through those acrylic, 
through the uh, second cord holes. So then when you get to the silicone part, you're just gonna stick your silicone on the loop turner, put the end of the, um, oh, I went on the wrong way. So you want it to go on upside down. Put your tails through the loop and then just pull and that's gonna pop right on for you. So that is all there is to it with getting those beads on and then you'll just pull apart. Ooh, normally I can pull easily. Probably should have used scissors that time, oh well. And then to add these breakaway clasps on the ends, I just tie the ends all the way on the tippy tip and then I don't have to worry about measuring those clasps. If you wanted it to be shorter than the length of this, then you would want to um, kind of measure your placement on the knot so you knew where they were gonna end up and make sure they were on the same side, but just kind of keeping them even on the ends works well. And there you go. So you've got a lanyard with a breakaway clasp, you've got a key ring, you've got a lobster clasp, you can use um, the additional badge uh, holder options, vertical or horizontal. Um, if you want to put the badge directly in a holder, uh, we've got DIY project kits for these. And then we've got uh, three other designs besides the one that I just demoed. All are going to be made the same way, just using different beads. And again, you can find all of the supply lists and photos for all these projects over on our website over at abcbeadsupply.com.